Hi everyone and welcome back to utahseo.ninja. Today we're taking an updated look at Adobe Spark pages. Specifically, we're going to be making a simple landing page for one of our Bluetooth Beacon campaigns. Now, if you're not familiar with Bluetooth Beacons, you'll see a card popping up on the screen. Check it out when you're done with this video, they're actually really cool. Now, our goal here is simply to show you how to build a basic site or a landing page and we're also gonna give you some ideas for monetizing them. Now, the benefit to using something like Adobe Spark is that it's fast, it's free, and it's easy. You will need an Adobe Creative Cloud account. You can find a link to that in the description, but once you're set up, then you can knock out these websites in just a few minutes. Most people seem to want to use these sites as like portfolios, which you can do, but if you want to have like any sort of a contact form or anything like that, then you do need to send users to a different website in order to you know, collect that information. You can still leave like your phone number, you can leave like the address of your office, things like that. And one of the things that we've been using is also including a link to a Facebook Messenger bot. That way you can kind of automate some of the initial information gathering and kind of help move that sales process down a little bit. Now, in regards to actually building the site, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You create your main header. This is where you want to tell your user what you do and why they should keep scrolling. In our case, we're going to be promoting website building services. So the very first thing that we tell people is that we can fix their websites and we name some of the other services that we offer in order to do that. So like building new sites, managing AdWords accounts, and of course providing SEO. You have access to a wide variety of free images as well as those that you personally upload or that you license from Adobe Stock. You also have some different themes that you can choose to kind of help, you know, give it a look that's a little bit closer to what it is that you're trying to achieve. Below that we have our call to action. This is where we want you to contact us and request an audit. Beneath that we have some examples of our past projects, some screenshots of analytics. This is using the photo grid option. Again, we're just trying to keep the site simple. We're just trying to show people what it is that we can do. Next, we're going to use the video embed option to share one of our YouTube videos. Again, the idea is to keep the content simple and minimal while still providing information that the user needs in order to make a decision. And that's going to be especially important when working with a Spark website since you're very limited in regards to design options and other features. You can't embed code, you can't have a contact form, at least not yet. So you need to be really smart with what you put on the site and again, keep it simple, keep it clean, keep it focused. And finally, we're going to add another link. This is going to take people to our Facebook Messenger bot, which I still need to finish building. And the idea is that by the time they reach the end of the page, we've sparked, pun intended, enough interest and desire in them that they then take action and contact us. So while you can build out a simple website like this, I think it actually works best as a landing page. Or at least you need to think of it and treat it as a landing page when you're building it. Now, when you're building a landing page as compared to a website, what you're really trying to do is answer one specific question or promote one specific product to the customer. In this case, website designs that work. So we don't talk about how we have this Google certification or this Bing certification or all this other crap. We focus on web design. You know, we'll build another page for the Google stuff or the lead gen stuff and so on. Now, the next step for us is to place this link in one of our Bluetooth beacons. You may have seen our Keycom Beacon unboxing video from last week, you'll see a link to that on the screen. But since those are the beacons that I have, and I actually really like the Batch Beacon, we're going to go ahead and update that device to promote this site. And we're done. Once the beacon updates, I can take my little beacon wherever I go and promote my website services, and I'll also be able to track clicks and impressions through the Keycom dashboard is pretty darn spiffy. Now the last question I want to discuss a bit before ending this video is what I would use a site like this for or more importantly, how I'd actually monetize it, how to make money from it. So I think there are three good things that you can do with these websites. First, this portfolio landing page for your own business, it works great. As a lead generation site for somebody else's business that you're promoting, I think you also have some very good options. And then finally, as a landing page for an affiliate product. Now, you have enough options, you have enough features that you can create a site that communicates information about a product or a service and I think that it would work very well for those types of things and honestly I find those limitations to be kind of refreshing because then you don't have to worry about oh you know what button style should I use you know you don't get caught up in things that uh, are important but they're not as important as the information that you're trying to share but the tricky part behind using these sites is how you actually drive traffic to it now of course I'm a sucker for NFC tags you'll see a card for that one too and for Bluetooth beacons. But of course, social media is another easy option. And if you had the budget for it, then I would also run AdWord ads to these pages as well, especially for anything in the lead generation field, specifically because those offer a really good return on my investment. 
with one of these pages we we're actually able to generate about two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of leads over the last six to eight weeks so they really do work well as lead generation sites so just something to keep in mind but that includes my thoughts on Adobe Spark pages. I hope this little video has been helpful. I hope it's giving you guys some ideas for making some money online. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you haven't already. It really helps our channel to grow. But my name is Tristan from Ninja, where we help to connect the dots between businesses and customers. And I'll see you in the next video.